is an incredibly powerful source of electricity in use by many countries around the world for over 60 years. But nuclear has always been kind of a dirty word, with negative connotations that bring to memory large-scale environmental disasters like Chernobyl and the recent Fukushima disaster. And its synonymity with weapons of mass destruction capable of flattening entire civilizations. Australia, as of today, has none of its power supplied by nuclear reactors, largely thanks to our plentiful coal reserves fueling our power stations. But using the same argument, Australia's abundant uranium supplies make up 31% of the world's known uranium reserves, possibly placing us in a strategic position to adopt nuclear power. Nuclear power stations are a type of thermal power plant, and in some ways are similar to a conventional fossil fuel power station. Thermal power plants operate using these basic principles. An energy source produces heat, which boils water to produce pressurized steam to turn a turbine, which drives a generator. This generator produces electricity, which is delivered to our homes and businesses via transmission lines through our electricity network. The major difference between coal power and nuclear power is that heat energy in a coal-fired power plant is produced by a chemical reaction, the burning of coal. In a nuclear power reactor, the heat energy is produced by a nuclear fission reaction. Uranium atoms are split apart producing massive amounts of useful heat energy. A thermal or slow neutron strikes a uranium-235 atom and gets absorbed. It then becomes uranium-236 and after a short amount of time, the uranium atom splits into two smaller atoms and some neutrons. These atoms fly apart and strike other atoms, causing them to vibrate and this causes the fuel rods to heat up, which in turn heats the cooling water in the reactor. The neutrons that are produced in this fission reaction then go to strike other uranium-235 atoms, causing more fission reactions. The rate of the reaction is controlled by neutron-absorbing control rods that are inserted into the reactor core. And there we have it, a controlled and sustained release of useful heat energy. Nuclear power was first proposed as a possible power source 45 years ago in 1969, with the federal government proposing a 500 megawatt nuclear power station to be built upon federally controlled territory of Jarvis Bay. Atomic Energy Commission, or the AAEC, was responsible for the establishment of this new nuclear power plant, and tenders were called for the construction of the power plant after a site was chosen and cleared, amidst a strong local campaign staged by the local trade union refusing to participate in any works regarding its construction. The project was eventually called off two years later in 1971, with the then government attributing the abandonment of the project to economic reasons. There is currently legislation under the Commonwealth Environment Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act 1999, which states that federal approval must be sought for most nuclear operations, including nuclear fuel processing, enriching and reprocessing, with explicit banning of nuclear power generation facilities. This is the site of the Australian Nuclear Science and Technology Organisations, or ANSTO, Opal Research Nuclear Reactor. This unassuming building houses Australia's only nuclear reactor, responsible for much of our nuclear related research and sole production capacity of medically important radioisotopes and materials engineering for Australia. While ANSTO in its current form is focused on the civilian uses of nuclear technology, research and government policy, the organisation has historically had a much wider scope. And indeed, the precursor organisation of ANSTO was a previously mentioned Australian Atomic Energy Agency that managed the cancelled Jarvis Bay nuclear power plant development. Our PANZA, or the Australian Radiation Protection and Nuclear Safety Agency, is the nation's nuclear industry regulator, overseeing the safety procedures and breaches of ANSTO's Lucas Heights Research Facility. While nuclear power is a potentially powerful and efficient source of energy, historically it has been associated with accidents, disasters, and less noble causes. Most notably, nuclear weapons and the Fukushima and Chernobyl disasters. 
sustainability is perhaps the most encompassing issue in discussing the ethics behind nuclear power, since economic, environmental and social aspects need to be considered and fulfilled in order to be truly sustainable. Economic sustainability or profitability is a major consideration that determines the feasibility and attractiveness of a project. In order for a nuclear power plant to demonstrate economic sustainability, it must be able to be developed and operated at a competitive cost in comparison to existing power generation technologies, namely black coal and natural gas burning power stations in Australia, as well as ensuring the prolonged operation of the plant with the efficient usage of resources. A nuclear power plant is very inexpensive to operate amongst non-renewable electricity generation in Australia, with fuel costing less than a fifth of the cost associated with coal and natural gas. However, the capital costs of establishing a nuclear power plant is extremely prohibitive and requires a very large investment and coordination from both public and private sectors to realise such a project. Taking these large capital costs into account, the levelised cost of electricity, which is the measure of total cost of electricity inclusive capital, operations and maintenance costs, nuclear is still competitive with existing non-renewable generation. Research completed by the Australian Bureau of Resources and Energy Economics in 2012 has shown that modern nuclear power generation is among the cheapest sources of electricity at $95 per megawatt hour, whereas more conventional sources of electricity like black coal plants are $130 per megawatt hour and natural gas at $200 per megawatt hour. New technologies for coal and gas plants have the potential to increase the efficiency of these power stations and lower current levelised costs such as supercritical pulverised coal and combined cycle gas turbines. But these technologies are still in their infancy and will require further research to be practical. Environmental sustainability is another important aspect to consider when assessing the overall feasibility of a project. One of the issues of nuclear power is waste disposal and the potential for environmental contamination. Expanded nuclear fuel contains fission products. Some of these isotopes have half-lives of thousands of years. The long lifespan of these materials makes it incredibly difficult to dispose of, requiring special disposal methods or waste reprocessing. Secure storage in concrete vaults is perhaps the cheapest method of disposing nuclear waste. This method requires a strong foundation and a high security facility where used fuel assemblies will be concreted and locked into place. The storage site must ensure that no contamination of soil or groundwater will occur and that the site will be operated and built using best practice principles to minimise risks and emergency situations. Uranium mining can prove to be quite profitable thanks to our large uranium reserves. However, it can also have a detrimental effect on the environment. A large proportion of uranium mining and extraction in Australia rely on leaching, a method where excavated ore is leached with a strong acidic solution to dissolve the useful minerals. Leaching methods are very effective and are economical to use, but poses a risk for the surrounding environment if not properly managed or controlled. Acid leaching into water tables can cause contamination and widespread environmental problems resulting from the use of the water. The well-known Not In My Backyard or NIMBY movement typically opposes the development of large essential facilities on the basis of pollution, congestion, visual blight, and loss of property value. Most large electricity generators are situated well away from residential areas, so any plans for nuclear generation plants should continue this trend and not place any large portion of our society in immediate danger through the commissioning of nuclear power plants. The establishment of nuclear power plants should also take into account existing generation facilities and the impacts the more generation capacity has on these existing generators profitability and competitiveness. Nuclear power is undeniably an environmental risk. However, with proper management and the employment of best practices, these risks and dangers can be minimised to the point where its impact on the environment may be less than its existing equivalents due to its zero emissions um, operation, lessening its impact on global warming.